Hi. Uh, I've been using Manga Studio 5 uh, for a couple months now, and I think it's great. Uh, I recently switched from Mango Studio, Manga Studio 4, um, and before that I primarily used Photoshop for everything. Um, one thing about Manga Studio 5, uh, which is fantastic, but a little hard to figure out at first, is uh, they have a new brush engine. And it's a lot easier, um, you have a lot more control over creating your own brushes, but it's a little more complicated than uh, Photoshop uh, as far as making brushes is concerned. So, I wanted to, I'm working on this uh, nice little demon t-shirt here, and I needed to to grab a brush from Photoshop that I used all the time, which was like this blood splatter. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I finally figured it out and I made this little video because I figured someone else might be banging their head against the wall too. So, let me walk you through it here. In, in Photoshop, you want to create a new document. Um, I, it doesn't really matter the size too much. I just whatever size you want it to be is going to be the maximum size of your brush so let's do 2000 by 2000 pixels and we want to get a transparent background and go to your brush here I already have it selected but I'm gonna go into my brush presets and pick out my little blood splatter here there we go set your color to black and then just dab one right there in the center and let's save this called brush splat and you save it as a PSD one nice thing about Mega Studio is that it can open and even save Photoshop files which is really helpful because you can work back and forth so now we go to back to Mega Studio and let's open up that file we just saved, which was brush splat. <clears throat> okay, here is the part that had me hung up for a long time. I could figure out how to make a brush, but every time I made one, it would only paint in black. It wouldn't paint with the color that I was, was choosing. The reason is I was making a brush from an image that wasn't a grayscale layer, which I don't know. The only way I figured that out was by watching someone else's YouTube video. Um, the documentation isn't great on Manga Studio 5. A lot of it is actually still in, um, I think it's Japanese. So I don't know, I don't speak Japanese. Um, so what you have to do is go over here to your layer palette, click the icon in the upper left hand corner and go to convert layer and here you just want to select gray because we want to make this we want to change this layer from a color layer to a gray layer okay once we do that you'll see there's like this little gradient icon up here by the layer then we want to go to the menu <clears throat> and go to edit register image as material and here we can give the material a name we'll just call it blood splat and here you'll see a checkbox for use for brush tip shape we want to check that and this may sound confusing at first but the reason we're registering it as a material and not as a brush is their whole engine is set up to be able to make these like little pieces of clip art that you can use and they call those things materials which is kinda neat compared to Photoshop because you can then record a brush with multiple colors in it um, you know gradients or effects whatever it doesn't like in Photoshop a brush has to be just flat black and white um, but in this case, I actually do want to make a brush that's just a flat shape. So anyway, that would be for another day, I guess. So here you just choose where you want to save it, and I'm going to save it 
in the brushes folder. Seems to make sense. Okay. Now what you do is you'll go over here and you can either create a new custom subtool or you can take one that already exists and duplicate it, which is what I'm going to do here because I have some uh, some brushes whose settings I already like. So I'm going to just duplicate this by dragging it on the on this guy and we'll call this blood splat brush. <clears throat> All right. Now normally at the once this is highlighted, you click the little wrench down here, and this always brings up all the brush settings. There are a ton of settings, which I think I said earlier is great because it gives you a lot of control, but it's also a lot more confusing, in my opinion, than Photoshop. Um, so it took me a long time to just, just sort of playing around to figure it out. So we want to na navigate down here to brush tip. And normally a brush tip is this circle. Um, if you choose material and pull this little drop down, it'll open up all of your materials. And almost all of these are things that just come with Mega Studio 5. Um, you know, like they have some neat things like little chains and uh, hearts. If you need hearts, they have, uh, they have a lot of hearts. Haven't used those yet. Um, where are we? Blood splatter. Here we go. So select that and say OK. And then as you can see, it made it made it our shape there. And we can change color and take our nice design and just put big green splats over everything. Very cool. And then you can go in there. Like I said, there's just tons and tons and tons of little settings here. You, know, you can control the spacing much like Photoshop. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably make a different tutorial video just on all the settings, but this was just to show you how to make a custom brush. So I hope that helped. Thanks.